Once you step between those ropes, it's just, it's mano a mano. I get into that zone where just, you don't see nothing else. It's just the guy that you're fighting. I got into fighting because of, you know, some dumb stuff when I was younger, just street fighting. And that's the thing, ever since I actually got, you know, some skills with boxing, I was like, you know what? I would like to see how I legit actually, actually fight. I wonder how my hands would actually be with no gloves. Straight right hand. We have the BKFC Prospect Series coming. It's the largest bare knuckle platform in the world right now. We had the tryouts for this fight card at our gym and three of our guys were picked to showcase what they got in the bare knuckle ring and it's showtime. And drop, let's go. Bare knuckle, it's the rawest combat sport there is out there right now, you know? You can't box like it's boxing because it's not boxing, you know? You can put your guard up, the glove will cover most of your face. Well, your hands don't cover as much as the glove, so there's a lot of things that are different in the bare knuckle sport that, um, you know, guys will just have to get used to when they get in their first fight. People look at it like it's barbaric and stuff, no gloves, but man, I feel in this, like, you have to be so smart with it, because, you know, you can mess yourself up pretty bad too, just hitting somebody. A lot of fighters who come into our gym, we're really in the, like, in the, not the best part of Edmonton, really. You got a lot of characters, a lot of broken home kids, and a lot of kids with no dreams, and they come and we help them to, you know, reach their dream. I think like this is so great for a lot of fighters, even though normal audience might think this is barbaric, but you gotta understand this is the way of living for a lot of people in a controlled, safe environment where they get paid for to do this. You know, it keeps a lot of people off the street, you know, so it like, gives them a purpose to work towards. Martial arts and fighting, combat sports have changed my life to a better, and like I've, and I've coached over 100 kids, and all of them doing a lot better than that. Even some of them, they don't fight anymore, they have a better job, they're keeping their job, they have purpose now. And that martial arts and combat sports saves life. My mom was like, why are you doing this? But, like I said this like for a long time, where it's like, you know, it's a dream. Right, and to be under the bright lights and have an opportunity to be on a platform this big, I'm always the person that just like, you know, if something comes to your door, you gotta take it, right? And if this promotion's coming to my city, then I might as well put on for my city. One, two, three, yeah!